Why are you anchoring here? Someone's not bringing up gas, eh? I'm in the bloody dial box again. Charlie, it's not coming. It's meant to come catch his first bluefin, well, big bluefin turner today, but apparently he's sick. Two hours of pounding to get out here. Bloody hell. We're going out to the trawlers. Massive burly trails. That's where the tuna will be. We can see one off in the distance there. We've got a boat to our right and a boat to our left. We snuck across the bar first. I think they were waiting for it to get light and we just thought, bugger it, we're gonna give it a crack in the dark with a spotlight. So we did. It was pretty sweet. And they followed us out once we went and then they overtook us. So we're just pounding our way out, doing some pretty sweet jumps over some of these waves. She blowing about 10 to 12 knots out there. So it's not ideal. She a bit poundy. Caught one last weekend, bluefin. Came lures, kawai. Have a look at that one. Look, it's got this flasher thing in it. Whoa! Cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. We got these new, these new Shimano lures to try out. I don't, I don't know if they'll be any good for the big dogs because the hooks are pretty small. But for smaller bluefin, they should be sweet. So we might take the hooks off and just use them as a teaser. It's like a giant rapala. The old dinosaur pen reel with a rod that Big Blue Diving Fish gave me. We're slowly upgrading the rods. That's the new rod, eh? Yeah, it is. There's a trawler about half a nautical mile in front of us. A couple of other wreck boats around it, actually. There's a few wreck boats out here now. I can see some guy dragging plastic over there. Another DNA. Now we wait. Charlie was meant to come today, but apparently he's crook. So he ain't here. And he's gonna, he's already caught a bluefin, fair call, but I was hoping to get him onto one over 100 kg. The last one he caught was only about 40, 50 kg. Might hook a Northern Pacific today, you just never know. Never know. One of the outrigger bases is about to snap. It's all bent. Kill, I'll make this really good telescopic carbon fiber outriggers. I've only got these alloy ones. And unfortunately, they have bent the bloody mount or the base. One hour into it and no strikes. Jace and the other DNA boat just had a strike, but it didn't stick and there's been a hook up. Someone's got one on, one of the other boats, I don't know who or where, but someone's got a tuna on just over there. There's about 15 boats over there, so we bug it off. We're going out wide a bit more to the other trawlers. We just heard the Russians on the radio and we tried to we tried to ask them if there was any tuna out here, but they ignored us or they couldn't speak English or something. Two hours. On. He's peeling lines. You trying that drag up a bit, bro? He's just. We're going to have to chase him down. Yep. We've lost a lot of line. Man, he took so much line on that first run. Yeah. He almost pulled us. Alright, we finally got shit under control. I've been telling Jack to chuck the black magic maggot on the lumo green maggot for ages and then finally chuck it on two minutes later we got hit go left a bit cuz bloody hell he must have taken about 400 meters of line i think maybe 500. heavy drags for tuna there you go see yeah heavy drag yeah but it's just our gear that's not 
We're not on our best rod, are we? Yeah, unfortunately, we've hooked them on the Chinese rod. <laughs> Oh no, here we go again. <laughs> Slow down, you bastard. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to the drag right up. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I just did. Did you? Not right up, but quite a bit up. Go right, bro, or we'll try to chase him down a bit. I just got all that line back and he's taken it all back down again. I'm a bit concerned the lads were using this for deep dropping last time they came out and there's a big loop in the reel there. Big loose for the line so I've backed the drag off a bit hopefully getting to take that loop out while he's slowly taking line now not on a mad run. Because if he does a mad run and that line's crossed over it'll just snap and he'll keep going. Yeah, yeah. There we go we're coming down to the loop now. Oh, there's a go, a go, 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 bro, towards him quick across the line. And it's jammed. Shit. Can you just wind it in? It's a bit hard. Water and close. Maybe a bit if he takes a run when it's like that, he's going to. Yeah, yeah. Now we'll get him past it. Still a bit of a boat, but we don't want that slack to run. No, but if we can take a run when it's like this. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, could you try getting me a bit of slack there, bro? Yeah, could you call later on anyway and make a bit of a wear up? Truck's that screwdriver, Jack. Yeah, it's good. Are you just shooting under grab heat? Yeah, we'll don't, no, don't put that in there, so, wait. Uh, hold it, hold it. Oh no, you've got it. All right, you go jump on it again, just gun us forward so I can take this loose shit out, and then we'll just get that line back. All right, we got the loop out of it. Oh, shit. Yeah, there'll be plenty of drag on the line, it'll still be on, bro. Well, we've still got a thousand meters out, do we? Shit the bear, right? Let's gain some line back. Go turn towards him, we'll start ripping him back in again. I think we've got a good fish on here. I'm trying to encourage him to come to the surface. And just tie out the ledge. Hopefully he's not a 300 kilo monster that's just going to spool us because we've got him on the wrong rod and reel for a massive one. Come on. There is gloves off the It's a bloody stalemate. He takes. We take, he takes, we take. We're on the top shot, but he's just kind of sitting off slowly. Oh, there we go, give me a bit more air. I've just hushed that drag right up on him. Oh, he didn't like that. Bloody fish. Oh, she's pinging. Oh, I think he's just seen the boat. Get 
One took the Lumo maggot about two minutes after we chucked it in. We're just going to drag it backwards, bleed him out for a while, get those lures back in, um, catch another one. A bunch of shit from the hokey nets. Makes sense. Put the black magic Lumo maggot on the Kilwell rod with a Tiagra reel. Hopefully, it gets hit in a good setup this time instead of the marginal one. Made of mine clipped this radio from the hunter and they were hand feeding them. His young shaver was in there and his undies hand feeding them, swimming around with them, pretty awesome. We're marking what looks like tuna on the sounder, but they're all at about 150 meters deep. They're not coming up to jump on the hooks. You wouldn't read about it, but you can see it right here. Only in New Zealand do the big trawlers come to the breeding grounds where the fish breed and drag these massive nets backwards and forwards and scoop them all up when they're breeding, because that's where they congregate. That's crazy. I think we take care of the fishery, eh? It's a bit like shooting fish in a barrel. Ludicrous. How do you shoot fish in a barrel? Uh, how do you shoot fish in a barrel? You go to any small creek in New Zealand that flows into a major river in June and July. Yeah. Yep, and you just take your 303 and you <laughs> shoot the trout when they're spawning. Beaks aside. a bit of barrel shooting right here hopefully Set up now, we've got them on the Kilwell rod. The Tiagra 50 wide. If it's a big one, we're a lot more set up to land them. Alright, we're on the top shot. Closer. He's coming. Here he comes. Love that little lure there. It's caught most of my bluefin in that one. 
I can't believe our black magic zippy skippy didn't get anything. No. Hammer down. We're going home. We got two fish in the boat. Away. Two hours of pounding home. We couldn't launch over the hokey bar today because it hasn't rained in so long that there's no channel out. Just pushed all the sand all the way up, but too dangerous to navigate. So we had to launch out a gray today, which is a pain in the ass. That's another hour 20 on the trip. In the bag. Another day, another dollar. Friday. Bring on the weekend. It's gonna be some very happy people kicking around out there. <laughs> These boys just got a world record. Maybe. <laughs> Definitely. 142kg was yep. it? Southern Bluefin on the spear. Good shit, that's pretty exciting. Good to see you keep a nice tidy boat, eh? <laughs> pretty exciting. Uh, big Shoals, a 50 tuna, they reckon. Yeah, Another mate of mine, Clint, was in there today too, and he said he was swimming around with heaps of tuna, but they didn't have a gun. They were just in their undies cruising around with them. There you have it, team. Best boat in New Zealand, towed by the best truck in New Zealand. So this is Sam, nice to meet you bro. And we got Captain Josh. We got Josh retying all the gear, re-rigging. What do we got there Josh? Uh, some of Josh's dodgy rigging. Makeshift shotgun pole. With that, Sammy boy, I'm awake. You're awake. I'm awake, mate. What are we hooked up to, hopefully? Good sized tuna by the looks, eh? Okay. Fuck, it's still good. What do you want me to do with that rigger, Josh? How many hours you drive for this, Sam? Ah, uh, seven. It's all yeah. good, eh? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Caught up on a bit of that drive time sleeping <laughs> today though. About four and a half, <laughs> right? Would have caught up. 
On Metallica. Preston and Chinna's near right. Isn't it? Well, there you go, Chinna. What do you think? Could be a foul hook with a tail. Tail hook? I don't think so. Yeah! Yeah, you go. Shot DNA boats. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's got some size to it. That might have been our fish on the surface, but can't not smile, eh? Especially when it's taking time like that. Really? Won't be allowed to take the boat again. Cameraman will be banned. I'm the skipper, I'm just giving you the, <laughs> you the fucking. Dude. Dude. He's gone deep. Now we've got to lift him. No limits, no limits. Body boy, copy. Ooh. Naughty boy, Kevin. Yeah, no, Jack's on there, Jack's got one there. Oh, sweet up. Keep your hand on the handle, bro, so you don't get those head checks. Give me slack on. It's just, it's a good fish, bro. It's a good one. Look at the beam in there. How big, lad? How many hooks you pulled? <laughs> How many? How many? <laughs> I think I've had it once. Must be why they call you Sammy C. <laughs> beam like your dog. <laughs> Got a bit of a hook going on. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> I got the same bean. <laughs> I've been half orange, Josh. <laughs> Josh wouldn't know. So, so, right now, what he's doing, the fish, you can see the fish here, zooming on the fish. As he's going up and down, settling into his little comfort zone, so he can thermo regulate, keep nice and cool since they've got warm blood. So, what we got to try and do. Is apply enough drag to keep him out of his comfort zone and keep him working. Break him. Break him? Break him. Bunnings trade. <laughs> Three t-shirts, cuz, so I get so all my clothes. I've got Maiko's thermal on, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, bro, places. Anyway, that gives me free gear. Alright, hey. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Bunnings. <laughs> Who do you work for, bro? I just work for myself. And what's your company? Um, the Cathedral Builders. And where are you based? Dunedin. Dunedin. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Oh, if you need a good builder, Dunedin, get in co contact with old Sammy C. <laughs> if I'm not pushing, mate, I'll do it. Wow, oh, you're a professional now, too. That's okay. What did you think about them apples? Fish, eh, cuz? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. What do you reckon? Reckon? Easy. Hey. It'll be 110 easy, I'd say, bro. Uh, <laughs> it's solid. Black magic. <laughs> Right. 
Really. We've got some chunking going on. Playing with your dinner. <laughs> hey. Josh, what have we got going on? A couple of baits out. One down in the feed layer at 150. Another one on a balloon down at 50 out the back so we don't get tangled up uh, one jack mackerel and one hokey belly flip perfect and what are we going to catch maybe a bluefin maybe a swordfish probably a shark the boys are doing it in luxury tonight we've got the big daddy deluxe <laughs> sammy's up the front on the me. me and Josh are going to be a bit dewy in the morning. <laughs> a tuna for a pillow. <laughs> tuna for a pillow. Not bad. Well, yeah, just as we turned off the lights, no shit, we got bit. Oh, yep, 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 that's a fish. Pretty heavy, but we're a bit gum booty. Stand by. You've got it for charge, you don't you, bro? 5%. What just happened? Jack, run down. Literally put the first lure in the water, and I was thumbing it out as you do, free spooling it back and it loaded up on me and I thought that's weird put the drag on and it just fucking hissed out so we were on in about 20 seconds this morning but we also did see a few fish under the float didn't we Josh? yeah oh we only got 4% so I'll say that <laughs> wait wait I'll walk back bro yep. bring him up keep solid eh? keep solid pressure on him punch. <laughs> well, I don't think you'll ever catch a fish doing that with a lure again in your lifetime. But, unreal. Nice big tuna again. Definitely need to come out again. kilometers from home and we've got about 30 liters of fuel left which is quite a 
We don't want to risk Josh's boat in our lives, so we've asked our nice friend George, um, he's going to run in, get her some fuel and bring her back over the bar, just in case. Um, and yeah, it pays to not risk these things, eh? Like, but got a $150,000 boat here. Yeah. He's got kids, I've got a kid, Josh has got kids, well our kid now. So we've got to be careful. That's why you have mates on the ocean. How good. Cheers, George. You go up there and flick that anchor off. Climb up the front, champ. Flick that anchor off. Oh, it's away. Is it? No. Oh, there's better places. Worse places to be stuck. At least we can get a photo and sort the boat out. Got some fuel coming, so. Lucky. We're still alive. Oh. <laughs> but did you just drop all our chicken? That's so well, bro. <laughs> that is some good fish, lads. Joshy, give us a smile, bro. He can't smile, we're out of fuel. Couple of good tuna. Tall. I can already see them. So the boys are coming to save us. <laughs> They're already laughing. One job. Decade. Well, if I did most things, all right. Oh, absolute legends. You guys want a fun up or? Uh, we've, well, what type of funnel you got? We've got the... Yeah. Also, how many bites did you guys get? Uh, three from five total. <laughs> Dog box does it again. Ming, Ming. See you later, mate. See you, bro. Good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for organising that. No see worries. me organising it. Well, I did most of the stuff a captain would do, apart from get the fuel. <laughs> apart from the bunkering. Yeah. Exactly. All right, chief. Sweet mate. Drive safe, okay? See ya.